What's up team, it's Seema the Centaur AI and Kira. Now first off, I wanna say thank you to all of you because in the last two videos, I asked you guys to give me a thumbs up on the videos if you liked the video and a lot of you guys actually responded and did. So these were some of the most likes I've gotten in a video so soon after it was posted and it really, I noticed it actually helped drive more subscribers to the channel so they could see all this great information that you guys are receiving. So thank you. I cut my finger open. Um, so thank you, seriously, thank you for that. I really appreciate all the love. I really appreciate all the uh, positive comments on the things that I'm doing. It really encourages me to continue to try and help all of you to become better lifters. It's helping me to become a better coach. So, in this video, now I work with a lot of clients and there are common faults that I see that run true with many of the lifts like the squat bench, deadlift, accessory work. There are many common faults that people seem to have. So this is gonna make my job a little bit easier by making these types of videos that uh, I can just direct them to and say you're doing this fix it this way And it'll also help a lot of you that are probably having these simple problems um, that are very easy to fix Okay, so in this video We're gonna talk about something that happens during the bench press that probably causes you to leak power If you're a power lifter going into a meet you'll probably get three red lights for doing this But it's a very common thing that is sometimes seen even at the highest levels of powerlifting And it's letting the bar sink into your chest when you're bench pressing now You've probably seen it like if you watch Dan Green bench press sorry Dan Green's a strong bencher But I mean a lot of people want to emulate it so what happens is when he comes down, he lets the bar sink, 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 and then he, he heaves it up off of his chest. Um, now what happens with this, and the problem with this, there are three things that, that are there an issue. If you're a powerlifter going into a powerlifting meet, you know that the bar has to stop on your chest, there can't be any motion. And then they're gonna tell you to press the bar, and if the bar is moving, you can get three red lights. Number two, the biggest, another issue is that when you come down, and the problem that happens when you do that is the elbow angle will increase here. And if this happens, then when you try to press the bar, you have to stack again, reestablish that position and push it off your chest, something that's really, really inefficient to do. And the third thing that happens when a lot of people do this is their butt comes off of the bench. When they bring it down and then they try and press it, they put all their torso into it and then their butt rises. And what happens when your butt comes off of the bench in a meet? three red lights. So what is it that the thing that we want to do to actually fix this problem? It's, it's simple. When you're stacking, when you are benching and you retract and you repress, depress your stapula to get your sternum ripped, to get your sternum ribbon, to get your sternum risen, okay? You wanna keep that position and when you're benching, you wanna keep tight, 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 tight. Make sure this stays high, keep this angle and press. You don't wanna have this happen. You don't wanna have this happen. You don't want any of that to happen. You wanna keep as tight as possible, keep the sternum high, and you also wanna make sure that there's no motion on the bar when it's on your chest when you press it off. The things that this is gonna do is since you're keeping so tight, your lats are gonna stay tight, everything here is gonna stay tight, and you'll have more power pushing off of your chest rather than having the bar come down, increasing elbow angle, and when that happens, rounding your shoulder forward, all these little things that happen when you do that motion, you're gonna negate all of that. None of that is gonna be happening. So probably I had clips playing during this, showing you examples of this, but that is what, that, that is something that I see happens with a lot of lifters, first off on Instagram, some of my clients, we, we fix those issues, but this should help you too. So what can you do here? I suggest that you take video footage, watch your bench press, Keep an eye on your elbow angle. Keep an eye on the bar touching your chest. If you see that bar sinking into your chest and you're coming down, you wanna fix that. You wanna get rid of that habit. It's a very, very, very bad habit to have. And when you're doing your warm up sets, you wanna make sure that you warm up, keeping tight, keeping that bar coming down, pressing up. Very, very simple. If you have any questions about this in the comment section, do let me know. I think that's it. I think that's all. I think we're done. This is and see me the Sensor Eon from Break the Bar. Last thing. Okay, since our Q&A number 10 is probably gonna be filmed on Friday or Saturday, so if there are any last minute questions, I want you guys to ask those questions in the comment section below. And if you want to, maybe like the video. But anyway, this is not seem with the sense our EAN from Break the Bar. Be an anomaly, be different, be yourself. Thank you for watching these videos and thank you for liking these videos. And I will talk to all of you very, very soon.